The Supreme Court in Colorado has ruled former President Donald Trump is ineligible to appear on the presidential primary ballot. Rebecca Castor has more from Washington. With less than a month until the first votes are cast, the gloves are off and the candidates are swinging. New Hampshire can't afford Nikki high tax Haley. A Trump aligned super PAC going after former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley in a new TV ad airing in New Hampshire. That's the sound of us surging. Because now Donald Trump's running an ad against me. And we'll be happy to take it. But frontrunner Donald Trump isn't just battling his opponents. He's also fighting to stay on the ballot after the state of Colorado kicked him off. The Colorado Supreme Court has determined that Donald Trump did engage in insurrection and that his actions have disqualified him from being president. The ruling sending shockwaves through the campaign trail. They say he's a danger to democracy, when in fact it is decisions like this that pose the greatest risk of all time to our democracy. In the past, Trump has used his legal troubles to rally his supporters. But it remains to be seen how this will impact voters. I certainly don't want to support a candidate that is not going to be able to be on the ballot. I'm very disappointed. I think it should be a people's choice. Similar lawsuits in other states could spell trouble for the Trump campaign. But even his opponents are backing Trump's right to be on the ballot. I would, from Colorado's GOP primary, withdraw from that name and require every other Republican in this race to do the same thing. The Colorado GOP says it will cancel the primary and choose to caucus instead if Trump is not on the ballot. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.